Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Hertz. I'm professor of entrepreneurship and management at Miramar College and San Diego State University. And I'm gonna be talking to you a little bit today about your online course, BUSE 119 Business Communications. And I wanted to show you how to navigate your way through the course. And one of the first things we'll start with is we will look at the home page itself of the course. So here's the course, Business 119. One of the first things that you'll want to do is you'll want to uh, go ahead and download that syllabus. It's available over on the left-hand side. You wanna read this syllabus in its entirety. You, um, so after clicking on here, you go ahead and download it there. And let's go ahead and look at that here together. So here's the syllabus itself. And here's my contact information. The best way to reach me is through email. That's my email address there. Make sure that you put BUSE119 in the subject line, nothing else in the subject line. I teach 11 classes between the two campuses, and this helps me to respond to emails quickly, usually within 24 to 48 hours on, on weekdays. You can also um, visit me during office hours. I'm available Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1230 to 1.30. I also have uh, appointments available between on on Wednesdays and Thursday evenings after 4 p.m. You can also call me on my office line. Remember, this is a landline. So if you do call the office uh, line, please leave your name and your phone number so I can return your call. It's funny, I get a lot of messages on that phone and, and people don't leave their number. For some reason, I think maybe they're used to using cell phones. Um, this is the textbook for the course. It is <coughs> available in the library. So it's not technically required for the course, but it's highly recommended. I, I definitely think it would be hard to be successful in this course without having the textbook. And um, you can go ahead and read about my background, about how to access some of the information, um, the rules of netiquette, and, um, and, and time expectations for this course. Just so you know, in general, this course, we do, it's a three unit course, so you're expected to spend three units in, online weekly, uh, plus another approximately six hours um, outside of class studying for a total of nine hours per week, which is normal for a three unit class. No matter what, you need to get in to the course at least once a week. This is a very short course. You don't have a lot of time uh, to get through all of the material. If you're not going in there for a period of time and I don't see that you're actively participating in the class, I will drop you. Okay. So no cheating. Uh, cheating includes plagiarism and completing things like exams in groups. There's information on different services available on campus. And then this is the grading policy. It shows you how the, the, the breakdown of the grade, a um, little bit about each of the assignments. On Blackboard, I'll give you a lot more information on each of the assignments, but here's um, you know, some of the basics of them. And then the breakdown of the percentage of your overall grade, uh, the assignment, and then the points possible. So for example, course discussions, these module discussion posts, there's eight of them. They're worth 7.5 points, potential points per for a total of 60 potential points possible or 15% of your grade. And then the rest are assignments, a presentation based on a thinking ethically a uh, case study of an ethical dilemma, um, also a written report on that same case study, a midterm and a final, which are non-cumulative, and you do those online. What else? The discussion um, board are typically due, the discussion posts are always due on Wednesdays, and the replies to, to your classmates are due the following Saturday by 11.59 p.m. Don't put these off to the last minute. I don't accept any late assignments. Um, the first discussion post, you'll want to get started on that immediately. You have until Wednesday to finish that. You can read the instructions for the discussion post here or also on Blackboard. Follow rules of business communications. This is a business comm class. That means um, you use block paragraphs, meaning you don't indent at the beginning of a paragraph. You use deductive, the deductive reasoning approach in business, clear, concise the deductive approach, the, the topic sentence is the very first sentence of the paragraph, and then you follow that up with support for that topic sentence. Every focus um, is in a new paragraph. Um, a rule, good rule of thumb is 50 to 80 words per paragraph in any business writing. You wanna keep it short to the point, no more than 100 words per paragraph. You don't need to cite 
the textbook, if, you, if you're referring to the textbook. If you do use an outside source, you'll want to cite that you know, anytime and anytime you write. Um, but discussion posts aren't really based on uh, research. They're more based upon your opinion or your experience. And so you don't need to cite those. Um, you, you don't typically see any citing in discussion posts. And then the responses, we do a 2 2 one response style. That means two uh, responses to two peers. Each of those two responses should include two relevant comments and at least one paragraph per response. Um, we want to keep the responses, again, clear and concise, 100 to 200 words. And what else? Uh, here's the rubric I use for grading the discussion posts. If you want to get 100%, that means there's no grammar errors. You, you thoroughly answer the questions. You give good supporting examples. You link to course concepts when that's appropriate. There's a sophisticated grasp of the language in terms of sentence structure. You write clearly, concisely, appropriate business terms. It's the correct word length requirement, 150 to 200 words, and that those responses or replies to your peers are thoughtful, meaningful, again, clear and concise. And um, make sure that you follow along with the schedule closely. It shows the different modules here, the different uh, topics, the different assignments. And uh, I won't remind you of upcoming assignments. It's your responsibility to follow along and to um, finish these eight modules um, on your own it's an online class it's so much on your own of course i'm in there every day uh, you know reading the reading the uh, discussions and answering questions and and, um, and including information when necessary uh but you really have to be a self-starter to be successful in this class i wanted to show one other thing here and that is back to the course page these are the modules over on the left hand sides modules one the chapter PowerPoints are in there. Now these PowerPoints have all of my notes in there as well. If you download these, make sure you put it in the notes view so that you can see the notes that I've put in there. Um, there's the discussion post. Some of the modules will have more in there. Usually there's a video or two. There's an assignment and the instructions on how to complete the assignment. All Here's the first assignment coming up, the resumes. What else is in module two? Um, there's oftentimes articles that you need to read. This particular article, you need to read it before you complete the discussion post too. And here's instructions on how to complete that post, et cetera, et cetera. Exams are always available in the different modules. So the midterm will be in module four, the finals in module eight. You won't be able to see these, so it's not available, you'll see on my screen, until after April 20th. Everything else is open early all the time. Exams are only open a week before they're actually due. Okay. All right, so follow along, go in here, like I said, once a week at least. Make sure you're keeping, us, keeping up on the assignments. If you need to email me, make sure that you include BUSE in the subject line. And I look forward to getting to know you throughout the course of this class. And um, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that um, you enjoy the class. I, I enjoy teaching this class and it's a, it's a really, excellent class for um, for anyone who communicates and all of us have to communicate in the business setting so um, welcome thanks very much take care bye